Policing in America, criminals and vandals becoming more brazen in recent months. Many of these crimes happening in broad daylight and in full public view. Take a look at this video out of Florida and a warning for you, it is a bit graphic. Okay. That was a traffic stop that turned into a life and death gunfight. The gunman fired more than 60 rounds at law enforcement. One of the deputies ultimately shot the suspect several times, killing him. The other deputy was shot in the leg, also suffered a concussion. This is from Maryland, a wild weekend at Six Flags. The amusement park just outside D.C. Video shared on social media show teenagers getting into multiple fights, destroying cars in the parking lot. All this chaos happening during the popular Fright Fest event, forcing the park to ultimately shut down. And then there's this video from Chicago. Criminals robbed and ransacked an Ulta beauty store in broad daylight oh. as stunned customers looked on in disbelief. These videos surfaced just as the FBI releases crime stats for 2020. And for the first time in four years, the estimated number of violent crimes in the nation increased when compared with the previous year's stats. Violent crime up 5.5% while murders spiked in cities across America, jumping nearly 30% compared to 2019. That is the largest single-year increase ever recorded, that 30% number. Joining me now to talk about these numbers, former federal and state prosecutor Pat Brady and also retired police commander T.J. Smith. Uh, welcome to both of you. It's great to have you in. T.J., let me start with you, if I can. When we see these videos, uh, it's hard not to ask what in the world has happened to us. Why don't you start us off there? Yeah, you know, um, good to talk to you again, Joe. And, you know, it's just, I think we have just spent an inordinate amount of time apologizing for bad behavior. I mean, we've seen people across the country, whether it's the politicians or the prosecutors or whomever, really wave the white flag of we're not going to prosecute you for this, we're not going to prosecute you for that, as opposed to trying to change policy while at the same time holding people accountable. And now we're seeing the results of that, which is basic anarchy in some cases. Right. We've seen this in California. We're seeing it in Chicago. We see this right outside of D.C. The kids were at an amusement park where you'll see some people in certain parts of the country say, well, we need more things for the kids to do. They were at an amusement park and they went outside of the amusement park and decided to ransack cars and jump on them and bust windows out for no purpose whatsoever. Yep. That's not normal child behavior and it's unacceptable. Pat, you think, TJ mentioned the, uh, the prosecution angle of this. You think that's a big part of it? Oh, it's a huge part of it, particularly in the urban areas he just mentioned. We sit here in Chicago. We have one of the most lenient prosecutors in the country who believes her office is a social service position. And there's a correlation between the fact that the jails are now empty and the crime and murder rates and, and, and violent crime rates are what they are in Chicago. It's an approach that they take in L.A., they take in Chicago, I think they take it in Philly, where it, it, they're not being prosecutors. They're usurping the law. They're putting their own political agenda. Uh, what is that in, agenda? To, they think that that office should be a social service office. And having served in that office, I know TJ was in law enforcement, that is the prosecutor's office. Your job is to prosecute crimes, administer justice, but they're also what we never hear about anymore, and TJ touched on it. What about the victims? They're victims in all these crimes, and we don't ever hear anything about victims anymore. It's all about, you know, we got to give these kids a, you know, a juice box and a pat on the head and send them home. Some of these kids need to spend the night in a jail and realize that this, you cannot engage in this kind of conduct in this country. It's gone way too far to the left, and it's part of the progressive agenda, and it has never worked in this country. Well, there are angles of it that have worked, TJ, that I've seen, where people are trying, cities are trying this, where they don't prosecute low-level misdemeanors, and they say it's cut down on the worst crimes, higher-rated crimes. Are you seeing that at all? Is there anything to that? Well, I'm okay with that if that infrastructure is built up where you can handle it. If that infrastructure isn't built up and you're hoping and wishing that it's going to just work, then you might create a larger problem. And that seems to be the case in a lot of places where you just see complete anarchy, where those smaller crimes have just escalated and there's mass confusion whether it's from the right. general public whether it's from the police officers whether it's from just line prosecutors themselves 
What should police get called for? And when you see that level of confusion, guess who's lurking? The criminal element. We can't just think that they're stupid people because they aren't. They're looking at this mass confusion. They're laying in the bushes and they're attacking their prey. And their prey are victims like you and I waiting to be attacked by them. And that's what's happening across the country. And that's what we're seeing with this increase in murder rate across right. this country, unfortunately. 60 shot in Chicago last weekend, including a police officer and a paramedic. 46 police officers have been shot at this year in Chicago. 12 of them hit, just some of the numbers. TJ Smith, it's good to have your voice as always. Pat Brady, it's always good to see you. Thank you both. Likewise. Take care.